All right, these are my top three residential plumbing code violations for 2022. We're back again with some more code violations. These are the violations that I find that I come across day in, day out at, at different projects, different sites. Um, we're in a renovated, renovated home. I am doing the plumbing final. Uh, we need the water hammer arrester for the dishwasher supply line. All right, and we also need water hammer arresters at the, at the wash machine box for the hot and cold water line. Um, any quick closing valve requires a water hammer arrester. Um, this is the little laundry area down on the lower level. We need water hammer arresters there as well. Some more violations, plumbing, that drain line from the dishwasher, dishwasher right here, that drain line must be attached high up under the counter before it, it connects to the actual sanitary line. So we have to, you, sh you should run that from the dishwasher, run it up high, right up under the counter here, kitchen counter. And then you can wrap it around and connect it to the drain line. All right, I'm back. Back with some more code violations. I'm doing a plumbing final. You're looking at a sump pump. There's your check valve, shutout valve. That's the drainage line for the sump pump. The violation is that that drainage line is entering that sanitary main from the rear. You cannot do that. That's the main right there going out of the house, but you cannot enter that main from the rear. You have to come in from the top. You cannot enter from the side of that sanitary main. You cannot enter from the rear. It has to be from the top of that main. 